as a whole. Welcome to Twitchy Tuesday with Sea Warrior. That's me. What do you want, puppy? It's not ready for food yet. Uh, it looks like I had not updated this profile with the new resolution. So, it seems to be streaming okay at full ultra wide. I did a chest check on my iPad, it looked okay. Hey, Ranyan74, how's it going? Greetings to you. Doing well this evening. So, I want to update from last week. Um, last week I had help with uh, getting some of those challenges done to get the last favor I needed for the 5k favor, and I took a plus 5 strength tome from that. And then just the other day, I uh, went ahead and did an epic reincarnate and then a heroic true reincarnate, which is the first one for this character. I actually did my bard before as a test, and then I did this character, which is my main. So now I have an additional heroic past life to go with all my epic past lives. So that's cool. And I TR'd into the uh, was it Jotmon's Porcupine build, which is a blade lock, what I would call a blade lock. It's a blade forged paladin warlock. Um, mostly because I didn't have to do too much in the way of changing gear. I can still use my great axes. Um, and I'm still melee, so a lot of my gear still applies. Of course, being blade forged docents instead of armor and all that, but for the most part. And then I did something really stupid, and I was playing with my TR cache, trying to figure out what to get up to, out to equip and all that, and I got uh, three pieces of green steel gear out and put them on and kept looking through my cache and didn't realize that I hadn't actually cleansed them yet. I had the stones to cleanse them, or essences or whatever they are. I had those. I just hadn't actually done the cleansing. So I uh, was in an infinite death loop for a little bit until Gilly sought me out and all that. Hey Queen, how's it going? I just scarfed down some dim sum. Oh. Coworker at work decided to get chatty right at quitting time, so I was delayed. I was a little bit behind. Why do you need so much attention today, dog? So anyway, I wanted to update everybody on the situation with the character. That's what that's going doing. So yeah. And I've started doing a couple quests. Um, doing some 12s and such just to get some XP built up before I start doing bravery bonuses and all that. So that's about where I'm at at the moment. And again, I did change resolution. It looks like the stream's solid, so hopefully it looks good to everybody. And now I need to decide where I'm going next. Probably not going to find any LFMs until I actually do the 13s on Elite. Unless there's a favor run somewhere. And in that case, I probably wouldn't want to do it anyway, because I'm not really looking for favor at the moment. Sinus infection. That's a great transformation for Red Gold. Looks like I got some junk. Good, good. Um, yeah, let's bring that list back up and see what we're doing. Hello. Not sure how long we're going tonight. I spent all day staring at PowerShell code at work, so eyes are a little tired. Not sure what I want to do there. Spawn of Whisper Doom. Spawn of Whisper Doom sounds fun. That's House P. Let's do that. That should be fun. So 
So, so far it's a, being, it's a little bit weird being back in heroics with this character. And I need to move that out of the way so I can see what's going on. This is just the pre-quest, so I really don't need much. Got my auras on. I think everything is ready. Else is ready to go. next That wasn't really worth it. Oh well. Now let's do it for real. I love how I can see, I don't remember actually seeing the spawn points on the floor like I do now. I don't know if that's a function of what I set up or what, I just never really paid attention before. It's cool. Oh yeah, you know that? That's shining through. I thought I was weird or something. I realized it was shining through. Playing Shaw, and I'm not a dwarf, and I have actual cleaves is weird. I really enjoy that effect where I put my axe to the side in midair while I do the uh, burst. It's just awesome. Here, hold this for me. It's a really nice detail that I enjoy. Group and the kill when we did the uh, house C stuff. I finally have boots propulsion in this character. We had like, there were six of us, we had eight or nine pairs of boots dropped. It was like, ridiculous. I'd done that quest several times before and no one had gotten boots. And we do it, and they're exclusive, so you, it's not like you can take them with you. 
give him to another character. He only one. Now he's playing a monk, so I didn't need him, so I was going to do that anyway, but... I would have liked to add another pair for some of the other characters, but it was not to be. Anyway, I'm hoping we do that on our Warlocks this week, and because we're about in the right level range. And I get some more boots to drop, that way I can pass those along as well. Yes, I could go for all breakables and get that extra XP. So my bard is a Shade Arc High, still swashbuckler bard, but has that one or two, I don't remember if I went a second level or not, of rogue. Can do some light trapping. And all that fun stuff. Basically because I didn't want to start to level one again. And I, I like the break of uh, having to get a couple levels of Heroic and then do Epic levels anyway, so I like that. I like Epic. So this is probably how I'm going to TR. I don't know if I'm going to get any in before the level cap increases. I heard yesterday that Cordovan uh, was working on release notes for Lamania, so I really haven't paid attention to much in the way of news today. I don't know if there's a new Chronic Cloud, if the Lamani notes went up, if they've. Lamani's up, I don't know. That's one thing I still don't have on this character is trapping, but I have much better saves. Um, the Aura, of course, which is a lot of fun power, and uh, ridiculous self healing. The communion of scribing is amazing for self healing. So, compared to the version of Shaw that I have run for the past couple years, this is going to be a lot different in terms of solo ability. Basically, sheer raw power, survivability. It's much better. Beats the heck out of those two monk levels. Looking forward to having some fun. Hopefully, soloing lead at level won't be a big deal at all. I probably have some gear things to change around, but for the most part, I'm good enough. Oh, Supreme's daughter is a champion. <laughs> and dead. Yeah. Yeah, see, that was much harder the first time I tried that on Shaw. The old version of Shaw. Of course, I probably have a bunch more past lives now than when I first did it. Which helps a lot as well. It's not just the build. Do I want to go this way yet? Remember. Uh, yeah. uh, I was hoping I came past it.
There you go. There's the hatchery. Remnants. Got remnants drop even though I'm over level. That's nice. Oh, I checked the other day and I do have about 10,000 remnants in the bank. So I could technically get stuff. Cool, thanks for the link, Queen. I will check that out. I might check that out after this quest, just so I can talk about it. I had planned on coming home early and then being able to see if there's any news, but uh, yeah, chatty coworker at the end of the day. Amusing stories, but uh, I was really more concentrated on getting out of there. It was just funny because he wasn't talking to me all day and then all of a sudden, right when I want to leave, he's all, hey, I want to talk. That's cool and all, but uh, why right now? Granted, he and the other co-worker will be working from home tomorrow so I won't see them and then Thursday I'll be working home, so I won't see them but uh, yeah so what started as a simple PowerShell script has become well, it's starting to become a monstrosity I've, uh, yeah. it's getting more and more complex more and more stuff shoehorned into it but hopefully that makes that much more useful. We'll see. Good. What was that text? Hello? Nope. Message. Email message can wait. Text sometimes cannot. Stop melting me. Jerks. All right. I think I've cleared that part out. Come back out here. Go that away. Door as a lever or a lever, however you say it. <laughs> That's hilarious. So that URL just showed up in the Flawless chat. Oh, total requirements level 38 million, 250,000. So yeah, I think I'm glad I uh, got my epic completions done. That's a bit more.
Holy crap. Level 21 is now 825k? Wow. That's a huge jump in level 1. Level 21 XP needed. Hello, Golgaro Sturdy Feet. How's it going? Doing well this evening? Uh, as soon as the smell swears off, I can actually open my chest here. Each epic level needs 825k. Actually, I think that's better. If that's what it truly is, I think that's better. To have a standard amount of XP you need for each level in Epic. Because really, level 21 to 22 were a waste. You get through them so fast. Like they weren't even there. So I don't mind them evening it out. I think that's cool. Any other tidbits anybody wants to put in about that post, I'll read it after this. But if you want to start talking about it now, that's I'm going to busy killing all these spiders. Hey, skunk, you're alive. It's amazing. We were starting to wonder. Yeah, I had my, uh, blah, 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 where am I going? I think I'm going back the other way. I had my, uh, daily three mint cream Oreos earlier. Yeah, I was sort of here for mini money yesterday, but I didn't really, I got there late. I didn't see everything. The hatchery. Okay, I don't understand this one. Level 29, two fa plus two fate points, tier three epic destiny feet slot. Three destinies capped. Oh, you posted in Slack? All right, I didn't see that. Like I said, I've been busy today, so I haven't really caught up on all the stuff. I'll look at that after a bit. The hatchery. So that's... Level 30 plus 3 fate points plus 1 twisted fate slot, normal feat slot, and a legend. Oh! So, level 29, you actually get an extra feat slot, and then level 30, you get 3 fate points, an extra twist slot, and. Oh, man! A normal feat slot, and a legendary fleet feat slot? <laughs> That's cool. That's a nice power increase for levels 29 and 30. Get to fit some extra feats in. That's cool. The hatchery. So that's a pretty big power jump which means that the difficulty expectations are going to be pretty hefty, hopefully, up front. Oh, yeah, this quest. I always miss one. I never know where... Oh, grad skunk. Oh, but if you TR, you will lose the bonus fate points and twist slot until you get back to level 29 and 30. Aha! Uh -huh. So yeah, I would say scramble if you're going to do some epic completionist or iconic lives or whatever. You really want to uh, 
save yourself some effort by doing that. But now sitting at cap is going to be amazing. There'll be some cool stuff up there. So... Where did I miss? Anybody see where I missed? Is it really just killing this guy? Thankfully he's blurry so I can see him. What? Egg rolls! Yeah. So on Sunday we went to the Chinese buffet across the town because egg rolls. Like, what do you want to eat? I don't know. Nothing really sounds good. And then Slack said egg rolls. And I'm like, yeah, egg rolls sound good. All right, let's see if that did it. Legendary is a new difficulty, right? Magical wards have lost their power now that the Yep, it was just. And I, I only had like two egg rolls. The egg rolls aren't great, but they were egg rolls. The lair. And oh man, today the cafeteria at work had. Uh, had uh, something or other. Uh, what was it called? Cajun shrimp? Oh man. It actually had flavor, it had some heat to it, it wasn't just bland. Man, that was good. Pretty cheap, too. So I had a pretty good lunch. It, just those shrimp. I ended up having, well, it cost me like four bucks. It was really like six or seven bucks worth of shrimp. Four bucks. And then uh, I finished off a container of peanut mix stuff. Six left of the fifty that I need, I don't understand. Ah, uh, spawn a whisper room, that would that's what it is. It wasn't just spiders, it was specifically spawn of whisper room. Four of those before I find Queen Mother. <laughs> what was I say? South Mexican peppers in your absinthe? That would be one heck of a drink. <laughs> wow. That reminds me, I should put a picture of the uh, soda that I got at the store the other day. It's some fiery soda. I don't remember what, exactly what it was. I, I've had it for like a year and I keep forgetting to drink it. One of these days when I have time, just in case it incapacitates me, I'll uh, get through that. Oh, crap. Not yet. Don't whisper doom yet. I need spawns first. There you go. One. Two more of those, please. Please, sir, may I have another? <laughs> One more. That reminds me, we need to remake the curry that uh, was we failed because it was too spicy, and then it set out and then went bad. Let me make some more curry is what I'm saying. 
Yeah, I'm supposed to be getting a new phone here soon. That'll be fun, resetting all the autocorrect stuff. There we go. Alright. So where was Whisper Doom? Back here, I think. Maybe. Maybe it was up there. I don't remember. Yeah, if it weren't for my phone saving my sanity at work, I would probably not anymore. Which, to be fair, I could probably get a contract on a tablet or something. It wouldn't have the same effect. Except that then I'd be on a tablet, it works to my phone, and that's a little more obvious that you're not actually, probably not working. Not that anybody really cares, but it's the whole perception thing I like to be careful of. But uh, yeah, evidently when I switched over, well, put my request in to switch over and they haven't done it yet. Not going to until next month. So. Can't get the new phone because we're leasing the phones because we get credit. So it'll be like three dollars a month for our new phones, at least. Instead of having to pay two hundred dollars up front. And then uh, yeah, I'll just give the phones back when we're done. Because I've got a drawer full of old phones. I really don't need any more phones. In that regard. All right, where was Whisper Doom? No, Tyne, it's not that I ignored you. It's that uh, I'm not sure how to respond because I don't agree with you. I mean, I walk up to something and burst and it's dead, or I can whack on it a couple times. Obviously, my bursts are more powerful than the... melee, so it works fine for me. I like this. I like the balance of not only doing that, but while my bursts are recharging, I can still hit. And I absolutely love the effect of the uh, Great Axe hovering in the air while I'm doing that. Blue Queen needs food badly. Blue Queen is about to die. There's Whisper Doom! How you doing, babe? And I can do a little bit of this. I can do a little bit of that. Burst. So when I find a boss, I got a whole bunch of stuff. Oh, I didn't swat, swat the profile over and I don't know what was going on. Swap to this profile. I hadn't set up the resolution for my new monitor stuff, and it was just annoying. Why can I not open the chest? I've completed the quest. Let me open the chest. Jerks. All right. So that's done. All right, let me check out that link real quick because I'm curious um, if I get the correct window going. Hey, City, how's it going? Uh, just copy the link address and paste it into this browser. Hope you're doing well this evening, City. So yeah, if anybody hasn't seen it, that's what I'm going to look at right now while I'm between quests here. Yeah, see, when I play more Warlocks, my Morning Lock and my other Warlock, well, no, my Morning Lock, that's why I go Great Old One Pact, so you get Knock as part of your spells. But since I'm 
part paladin, I can't go great old one. So yeah, because I agree. Knock is awesome. All right, so new character features gain from me up to 30. At 29, you get plus two fate points and then a tier three epic destiny feat slot for three destinies capped. Okay, so you get a tier three epic destiny feat. Interesting. And then at level 30, you get plus three fate points, one twist of fate slot, a normal feat slot, and a legendary feat slot, which is awesome. That's cool, Skunk. I like that look. I just, I said this last week, I think, but I absolutely enjoy the festivals, the seasonal events and all that. I absolutely hate that they come and go fairly quickly because I just don't get around to playing them a lot. For some reason, it seems to be on those, because they're usually around holidays or, you know, things where we have things going on, so I don't get enough as much play time. So I might grind a bit. And then that's why I like, I'm interrupting myself a bunch, not completely a thought. Anyway, I like um, that when ingredients stay around because I'll farm on one and then the next one actually have time to go and, oh yeah, okay, now I have all this stuff that I got last time. Let's go ahead and figure out what I want. Hey, P.I. Tyler the Fearless. How's it going? Hope you're doing well this evening. So basically this seems, that's cool. Yeah. Evasion. That's cool. It's going, it sounds like a fun build. Hey, Jared K fan, how's it going? Hope you're doing well this evening. All right, so number of twist slots is plus one. Now, wherever you have, if you have epic completionist. Oh, you get the slot, but you still have to unlock it. Oh, nice. If you flag for reincarnation before update 29, which means you actually show reincarnate on the character select screen, you can reincarnate after update 20 without any changes. So you don't have to rush through your reincarnation. You have to rush to it, but you don't have to rush through it. That's cool. Normal feat slot. This is too much slot at 27. Lower level feats you usually get. Not apt to destiny feats. Epic Destiny feat slot. Can hold lower tier epic destiny feats you qualify for or new only options only available here at 29. But it's epic destiny feats only. Legendary feats slot only before for a few specific lists of new feats. Epic reincarnation, iconic reincarnation require being level 30 after update 29. So yeah, you do have to get to level 30 to reincarnate. Epic XP curve change. <laughs> The epic curve, the average amount of XP required per level on average is staying exactly where it is, but the curve is flattened to be the average, basically. So nobody wanted to see 10 million XP. So they're landing at 8.25 million, which is regional for two more levels after 6.6. Le <laughs> level 28 is the same. You needed 6.6 .6 for level 28, and it's still true. But the average was 825k per level, which is they flattened it out to. So every level is 8.25k, or yeah, 825k per level for epic levels. That's cool. I like that. They have a bunch of justification here and some thoughts behind why they did the XP that way, which are interesting. I'll get back to playing here in a minute, guys. Sorry, I'm just I want to look at this uh, update stuff. I didn't have a chance to do it earlier. I, I want to give my comments live on stream too. I just posted a link earlier, but just in case it's off the screen and you didn't see it earlier because you just joined it, that's the link I'm looking at right now. Feel free to comment read it yourself or respond to what I'm saying.
and you'll stay the same level after the change, but you'll have to make up the difference in XP if there is one, basically. So if, you, if you're level 22 and um, under current U28 specs, you'd be level 22. U29 launches, you'll still be level 22, but you need the XP as if you were on 29, that's what. Hey, city, welcome back. <laughs> yeah, they said if you're banking Epic level before update 29, you may want to take that level before the update goes live. So they get, they break down the levels and the old requirement versus new requirement for XP. And then there's more details in the future, specifics on feats, and blah, blah, blah. So, ooh, feats. Let's look at feats while we're looking at stuff. So yeah, overall, I, I think I like it. I think it makes sense. The reasoning is good. I like the new power stuff at 29 and 30. Um, I like flattening out the curve because those first couple levels were just so fast and the last one's kind of dragged on and this flattens it out, makes it should be more fun. So let's look at the feats. And we, we still don't have a firm date, do we, Cordovan? I saw that came up. Golgaro asked that in chat. I know you were looking on some Lamania notes, but I didn't see. As I said, I haven't been keeping up with the news today, so I don't know what's happened. Three different feet threads. Nice. Awesome. So if you want to try it on Lamania, they're targeting this week. And then U29 timeline is by the end of the year. So still no firm date, but by the end of the year, you can pretty much read between the lines on when that has to drop dead because you don't want to release something like that on a holiday. So you get a guideline of if it's coming to Lamania this week, next week being a holiday week, then you've got a couple weeks before another holiday. It's going to be probably be somewhere in there if they can make it, but you that's unofficial, of course, but you can read between the lines and kind of figure it out. All right, so there's three different feat threads. There's new Epic Destiny feats, legendary feats, and uh, there's some new general feats. So let's look at that. Let's look at the Epic Destiny feats first. And again, I'll get back to gameplay in a little bit here, but this is pretty big news that I want to go over. And you have the links in chat if you want to follow along. If you need them repeated, let me know and we'll paste them back in. So we have went through the trees, which is a instant knockdown, no save, 5% chance, 12 second delay, dire charge, charge with stun. That looks fun. Yeah, this detail that went through the trees, three primal destinies, dire charge, three martial destinies, and this next one, arcane pulses, three arcane destinies. So we've got, uh, it's a spell, arcane pulse, a magical pulse of force, 3d6 plus 6 force damage every 2 seconds for 16 seconds, stack up to 5 times increasing damage in each stack, 3 second cooldown. Deific warding for three divine destinies, when you take damage, you add one stack of deific warding, which is plus one sacred bonus to MRR, stacked up to 30 times, one stack every three seconds is removed. We've got Dreamscape, which is two primal, one arcane. Okay, I like this. I like the mix up. I thought I was afraid it was going to be just three of the same, but there is mixing and matching in here. That's cool. So for tree, two primal and one arcane destiny max, you get Dreamscape. You are invulnerable and invisible for five seconds and we return with a random 30 second buff. <laughs> one minute cooldown. That's pretty cool. I can see that being fun, especially the invulnerability part. That would help in certain situations where you otherwise have an instant death on you. 
like, you know, Inferno or uh, Zuckmoy's attack, something like that. If you're really invulnerable, then that's cool. You can get around that stuff. Harbinger of Chaos. One Primal, two Marshal. Deal 1d20 Bane damage against all targets and 2d20 Chaos damage against lawful targets. Scales with melee range power depending on your weapons. That's pretty cool. Font. Fount of Life, 1 Primal, 2 Divine, plus 20 Healing Amp and positive Spell Power. That's interesting. Primal plus Divine for that one. Embodiment of Order, 1 Divine, 2 Martial. Deal 10 main damage against all targets, and initial 20 law damage against chaotic targets. That's the same thing as Harbinger of Chaos, just different uh, law instead of Chaos. Um, and 10 main damage instead of 1d20 main damage. That's an interesting difference. Why is that the case? Why is it 1d20 bane damage on one and only 10 damage on the other? I know why, because it's order. So you flatten out the average. So it's 20 bane damage instead of 1d20 and 20 law damage have 2d20 chaos. That's pretty cool. I like that subtle flavor in that. So you know you're gonna get consistently get 10s and 20s versus maybe getting 1 and 2 to 20 and 40. That's that's neat. That's cool. Spirit Blades, 1 Divine, 2 Arcane. Create a series of Spectral Blades with flight near an opponent. Each of the five blades has 2d20 piercing and 1d20 force damage. Finally, we can do those. Finally, we can do those annoying blades from Shavarath. And then Arcane Warrior, 2 Arcane, 1 Marshal. Stack of Arcane Warrior Magical plus one Universal Spell Power for Weapon Unarmed, Offensive Spells, Arcane Warrior Physical plus one Melee and Range Power, each stack is 20 times as each stack lasts for 60 seconds, gain and stack at once per second maximum. That's a nice one. I like that for particularly like what I'm doing right now, this Blade Lock, because I then get this Universal Spell Power and the Melee Power both because I I'm keep attacking with my weapon and my Blast and burst. So that that's neat. I like that. Well, let's look at the legendary feats next. At level thirty, we get a choice of one legendary feat. It says they're built for versatility. Sign of the plane of Earth. So they're plane based. Elemental, mostly. All right, so plus 4 DCs Conjuration, plus 2 DCs Other Spells, 20 PRR, 10 Acid Spell Power, 30 Universal Spell Power. Add 2 D20 Acid Damage to Weapon and Armored Attack Skills of Spell Power. Man, that's awesome. Again, that's awesome for the hybrids. Melee Spellcasters. Air. UDC is their evocation. You get plus four dodge and dodge cap, electric spell power, your official spell power, and electric damage. Fire is plus 25 spent spell critical damage with all spells, 10 PR, 10 RR, 10 files, fire spell power, 30 universal spell power, and 2d20 fire damage to attacks. Water is plus 200 maximum spell points, 20 MRR, 10 cold spell power, power, 30 universal spell power, 20 cold, 2d20 cold damage. Feywild, Sonic and Universal Enchantment Spells, Sonic Weapon Damage and 20 Healing Amp. Shadowfell is plus 4 Necromancy DCs. Oh, Necromancy DCs. That's cool. Plus 40 Negative Spell Power, plus 20 Negative Amp. And then Weapon and Unarmored Attacks heal you for 1d6 positive damage or 1d6 negative damage if you are undead. So you could either be the negative cleric or the um, pale master and really benefit from that. Ethereal plane. Oh, wow. Ethereal plane has permanent blur and while sneaking, permanent displacement. That's cool. Plus one point of sneak attack damage for every two points of hide you have. Plus two to all skills and permanent invisibility guard. Oh, my rogue wants that so bad. That's awesome. That's so cool. 
astral plus four to tactical feet dcs plus four percent double strike double shot plus four if you're centered plus four dodge and plus four reflex save eh, i don't know Yeah, I could see using that. My monk would probably really enjoy that. I probably could actually stun some stuff with that. <laughs> um, Canis, plus 20 repair and rest spell power, universal spell power, plus 20 repair implication, repair amplification, plus 10 fortification bypass, and then you gain master reconstruction, which shares a cooldown with communion of scribing. So that's fun. Celestia, plus 20 positive light and alignment spell power and 20 universal spell power. 30% crit damage with positive light and alignment spells, plus 150 maximum hit points, and plus 4 will saves. I'm pretty sure that's my Morning Locks choice right there. That's plus 20 light and alignment spell power, plus 30% crit damage. <laughs> yeah, with Utter Dark and all the uh, extra plus damage, oh, light damage, that's going to be awesome. Elysium. Summon creatures gain plus 25 PR MRR, plus 20 melee power, range power, and universal spell power. Is that what that's supposed to be? 100% fortification, and a 5% chance to ignore incoming damage entirely. So that is hopefully going to make summon creatures more useful. And then Arborea, melee and range power plus 20, force power and universal spell power plus 20, plus two enhancement bonus to your weapon and plus four fortitude saves. That's a pretty general all around melee and force increase. And then Scion of Limbo, plus two determination bonus to all saves, eight Bet buffs each one minute long cycles randomly. Plus four le me 40 melee and range power, plus 80 spell power, plus 16 double strike and double shot, plus 20 spell crit damage, plus 30 PR and MRR, plus 20% dodge and plus 40 healing amp, plus 20 DR slash law. Your weapon on armor strikes and spells deal 1d20 chaos damage. Each time you beat damage, you have a 5% chance to completely ignore the damage. And con confetti explodes around your shoulders, festive. So that could be just fun because you'd be powerful and then dodgy and then tanky and and then of course confetti because that's fun so that's pretty cool and then let's look at the other feats and changes just to wrap this up level 21 general feats each of these also gra grants Plus 110 maximum spell points. Most bring a power you activate to gain 150 universal spell power and 20% spell critical damage for 30 seconds, 3 minute cooldown. Wow! 150 universal spell power and plus 20% critical. Oh man, that's. That's. Yeah. I think my sorcerer would like that. <laughs> Start a boss fight, kick that on. We're doing lots of damage up front. Arcane Insight, activate to gain plus 6 to all spell DCs and plus 6 to spell penetration for 30 seconds. That's pretty cool. Mm, those sound good, Cordovan. Those really do sound good. New 24 general feats, improve augment summoning. You summon creatures have plus 8 all ability scores, 10% dodge, and 100 maximum hit points. That's something at least for him. I don't know if that's enough. To see. Glacier Wrath, Cone Spell, Intensify Cell met Meta Magic, plus 75 spell cap power and spells cost plus 25 spell points. Works on anything affected by Empower. That's pretty cool. Embolden, plus 2 DCs to all spells with DCs, plus 10 spell power. Effect spells. Master of Air, your shocking grass, electric lightning bolt. Have no, so there's a one for all the different um, types of spell power. So air, earth, water, fire, 
I should say electric, acid, cold, fire, necro, light, all that stuff. I no longer have a maximum caster level. And it includes shout, greater shout, sonic blast, and reverberate. And then master of knowledge, arcane bolt, and blast. Now grant you one stack of mental honing. Three plus three universe spell power plus two spell crit chance or spell crit damage when cast. Stack up to 30 times, six second removal. At 30, ho oh, ho, you get greater ruin. Requires ruin and deals a thousand untimed damage to a single enemy, no saving throw. Cost 150 spell points. Wow, that's that's a decent damage spell. Artifice, artificers, arties, uh, improved construct accents, and then construct exemplar requires improved construct essence, construct essence, and then uh, yeah, update 29 the DC for rune arms will benefit all sorts of evocation bonus. So that's a whole bunch of fun stuff coming. I'm excited for pretty much all of it. I think it uh, looks like it's going to be a blast. So much fun to have all this extra new fun stuff to play with. So, yeah. All right, so what was I going to do next? I don't even remember. But I don't know about anybody else, but I'm excited about these changes. They look a lot, like a lot of fun. I don't see anything that stands out to me like being, oh, really? Uh, no, I don't think there'll be more players to DDO. I think some people that come back might have a reason to play again, to play with the new stuff and try it out. Um, especially with the epic green steel and stuff come i think it's just there's a good much of good stuff coming that'll be fun to mess around with i think people will come back i don't think it's a good reason for people to start playing but it'll be a good reason for people to come back who have been out for a while oh what else is in here that i can do in house p oh there's thrennel but i don't really feel like doing thrennel oh it's the notorious gimp Mr. Wisen noob. Gimp man. Hope we're doing well this evening. Uh, how's it going? The nectar on, I don't feel like going there. Made to order could be fun. Oh, now I want vanilla ice cream with mint schnapps. Oh, cream to mint. Love that. That's one of those things that, you know, just have always done. That was one thing in my family that always they always did. It was really funny when I was really young because although it's not much, it is alcohol. So I was young enough to have a babysitter. Babysitter come over and I'd like, yeah, I want my ice cream with my topping. And they're like, what's your topping? That. I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. No, I don't think you should have booze. So they have to check and make sure it was okay that I had that. Oh, let's do invaders. Let's see, invaders is... Yeah, I can do invaders. That won't break anything. That'll be fun. Let's do invaders. We'll see how good or bad this goes. Raiders is over here, isn't it? I thought it was. Yeah. So this will be a test of something. I don't know if I should bother buffing or not. Probably not. I should remember to shining through, though. Very important that I remember to shining through first. Hey guys, how's it going? Beholder, 
sir. How are you? That's why I didn't buff. Where'd you come from? Jerk. Ooh, more chunks. Impressed. A champion, yay! Champions. Oh, you jerk. And there's. I'll get around to all of you. No need to rush. I have time for everybody. I will kill you all. You don't gotta be like that. Plenty of everybody. Um, let's go ahead and scribe. Then we'll shining through. for the holiday. SO said they're going to make uh, not only a cheesecake, but a like a pair of pumpkin pies and like an apple pie or something like that. It's a ridiculous amount of food. Whatever it was. I hear jerks. No jerks. I gotta tell you, this is ridiculously powerful compared to uh, even like when I did this on Epic on the first incarnation of Shaw, I had a lot of problems with it. This is just amazingly easy comparison. I mean, it's true, we've got four beholders here, and I've got epic past lives plenty and all that stuff, but... I mean... Except for the fact it takes me a couple seconds to kill everything, I would say that I was still an epic. <laughs> That's what it feels like. more seconds to kill things than it would. See, I'll leave holders. I need one more. Let's see, where have I not been? I've been here. I have not been there. Be 
be okay to play tomorrow. Queen's gone. Or you guys want to take a break? Well, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Let myself some more temporaries. Oh, -ho! knocked down by Cyclonic Blast. I'm continually surprised at how much damage the class actually does. Okay. That's cool. I should be up for it. Hmm. So I'm missing one beholder. Where did I not kill a beholder? That's shrine. I thought I killed all the builders. Just a minute, let me see if this is a text message. And it is. Oh, is there one down here? That's probably what it was. I completely forgot about this area down here. Two champs. And jerk. And more chunks. Hmm. Took some damage there. There he is. Hello, Mr. Elder Holder. I think I'm going to skip the 120 Outsiders optional. It doesn't seem to be worth it. To kill 38 more. Unless it's a ton of XP. It isn't. Guys being all crowdy and stuff, trying to be grabby. No one likes grabby guys. Probably gonna take a quick break after this quest to uh, walk the dog and refill my drink. And I guess feed the animals too. The cat just reminded me about meowing. So let me kill the master beholder thing here. Hey. How about that? Alright, Cordovan. Thanks, see ya. Okay, why can't I get a, not get in here? I thought that killing all those guys is how you got in here. Yeah, dog's been restless too, haven't you, dog? All right, seriously, what what am I missing? somewhere else, didn't I? That's what it was. That's what it was. I need to go back. <sighs> this quest. Why did I lose my... I just realized I lost my chat channels.
it's annoying. Uh, this way, right? Yeah. Every time I do this quest, I forget something somewhere and I have to go back for it. Let's see. Oh, being a jerk. Did I not get everything in here? Nope, I didn't. weird. He was standing right in front of him. I remember this being difficult when I uh, sold it and shot the first time, but really? Yeah, occasionally I get down to like half hit points. But, uh, it's not a big deal. Yeah, generally you should go AFK in the middle of a quest if you can avoid it. Let's see, I'm going back that way. Oh, 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 ouch. I could run faster, I guess. This character doesn't have everything. No trapping, no run speed. I have plenty of friends, though. Always want attention. I don't know, I'm almost to the point where I should just go ahead and do this optionally, even though it's not very many experience points, just because I'm already almost there now. If I remember where the stupid uh, portals were, there were things coming through. It would be easier. Ooh, I have tumble. <laughs> nah. I don't think so. I think I'll just go ahead and finish it. I'm pretty thirsty and the animals are pretty hungry. I'm not exactly sure what time it is at this exact second, but I presume it uh, 
is later than their normal food time. I can hear it back too. Sharks. Alright, so that was pretty good. 16k. There's the chest. Swear outsider tokens. Woo. And, uh, yeah. Ooh, and some mail. You've got mail. Impressive trophy. There it is. So I'll get back up to the ship. <laughs> Yeah, city. It's kind of suspicious that one of you, you never see both of you in the same place at the same time. One of you's always leaving. The other one comes back. Yep. Okay, let's ship get down to the first floor, buy the repair shop, the mailbox and stuff, and then I'll take a quick break. Probably be 10 to 15 minutes. Um, as I said, I got a couple things to do. Refill my water, I gotta f take the dog on a walk, I gotta feed the animals. And, uh, yeah, that's all downstairs, so. It's not gonna be quick. Well, it's not gonna be instant. It won't be too long. I'll stay right here, the repair person. Commence dancing. Put my away sign on. Well, I'm doing the robot, of course, because why not? So yeah, stick with us. Be back shortly. Feel free to take your own breaks for food and bio and whatever else. Be back shortly.
All right. And let's get repairs done. Hey, monkey. How's it going? Hope you're doing well this evening. Yeah, in favor. Yeah, I had a... Um, cat who didn't want to eat well kind of sort of maybe wanted to eat but wasn't quite sure and I was trying to convince her that she did want to eat but she ended up deciding she didn't so that was fun and the dog had uh, issues with outbound hair let's call it So we're already in the next quest. Not quite to another pip yet. Oh, this extra XP. I don't know. Maybe I will stay in Epic. <laughs> I won't do all this heroic tiaring. Um, what else do we have? It's... I guess I could do in the Dead Shall Rise. Within three other really interesting. I'm not doing the tombs, there's no way. Not doing Mectron. I could try made to order. We'll see how that goes. I do want to check on. Yes, yeah, so there's plenty to do once I'm actually going to do the uh, stuff there. That's about the only thing I want to do. On my rogue still needs a couple. I think it's my rogue needs a bit to. What am I doing? Oh, made order. That's right. Yeah, I'll try Dead Shall Rise next. I'll do Made to Order first. Um, what was I saying? I don't know. I forgot already. Oh yeah, one of my other characters needs some bit of... I can't remember if it's finishing off a Destiny, Karma, or is actually part of a level. That last bit of XP, but something. I think my Rogue needs a little bit of something. For being able to... TR. Well, Epic Green Card, and then TR and get something out of it. Is it Haywire's Guard up? It's this one. Oh, uh, let's see. This one I can actually buff on. There we go. Buffed. Oh. There we go. Not really buffed. Seriously? Thought I had better saves than that. What are my saves? Uh, I guess my reflex is only 29.
Oh, I don't know. I really don't remember this quest that well. Probably miss something, I have to go back for it. If I did, I did. Back up. I remember this being again much more tough than like I meant to do the first time with Shaw. That's gonna be a problem or not. I got one crest at least. So I'm doing something right. Nice them to stand around like that, if I can just run in and burst them. Welcome back, city. And oh, I didn't tell Queen welcome back, maybe. Maybe I forgot that. I'm gonna try to do one more quest after this, but I'm starting to slow down already. My brain is turning to mush. The thing about power shell is that it never seems to work the way I think it should work. It's not very intuitive. Warlock is a blast to play. I love Warlock. It's a lot of fun. This is a blade lock variant. Blade Forge Paladin slash Warlock, and it is a lot of fun. 
I'm having fun. I'm not really in any danger. Just uh, going through and getting stuff done. Chunks! Jump on those chunks. <laughs> no, and I'm not really even noticing them. That's the fun part for me. Is like, yeah, whatever. There's stuff happening. I'm not really paying attention. I'm not in any danger. In any danger from it? Whatever. See, just a little bit of that and a little bit of that, and now I'm up to almost 750 points. Fine. Really not the best weapon against those guys. Did I need anything else in this room before I go gallivanting off? Okay. Oh, I need to do something with the eye point desk. My wrist is starting to hurt. The mouth's being over there. Not quite ergonomic. Although the ESO basically told me if I should get the setup that I want. And then that I should go to Ikea and get the uh, desk they have that can raise and lower. So, at some point, I'm probably going to do that. I don't think it's critical right now. And also to get a uh, mount for the monitor put over this one so I can see chat and stuff on the second monitor. So at some point, I'll probably do something like that. This way first. Well, I'm pretty sure the crests are slotted in the other one. Yep, this is just a rest shrine. Darn it. So that means I have more than one way to go. No, maybe it's up there. Oh boy, do I have. Went out to eat the other day and. I hate people, let's just put it that way. People were making a big deal out of something and just the way they went about it was really annoying. All right, so I missed something. I, I figured I would. Oh, I have several choices. Hmm. Let's see what happens. So I drop down this way first. And that's that, so that means I should probably go this way. And there was a turn I didn't make, looks like. Oh. 
because it's locked. Is that lock required? Did I not find a key or something? That could be bad if so. Is this the entrance? I think this is the entrance. No, it isn't. Week is my health screen for work. That should be loads of fun. Just poked and prodded. I have to try to lay off too much stuff. Probably starting. Friday-ish. Try to squeak in under the line on some stuff. Oh, well, I got Vandal at least. Um. Okay, so I'm missing one still. I have find. I found Arnold. I haven't slain two of the six. That's the door that I can't open, it's just a restaurant anyway. Who cares? Hello, Caldarius. How's it going? I hope you're doing well this evening. I am a blade lock. Blade forged paladin to warlock 13 at the moment. Going to be warlock 18 when I get through it all. And pretty much, if you look at the enhancements, I'm pretty much a warlock. Yeah. Get enough blade forge to get the communion of scribing, which is ridiculous. And then enlightened spirit up to get uh, shining through. And then some tainted scholar to fill in. And that's pretty much the build. It's pretty simple. Saves aren't doing too bad. I can use a little more reflex, but uh, not doing too bad. I suppose I could shrine when I find the other shrine again. Just to get rid of this stupid red spinny thing over my head. Alright, so what happens if I go up there? I go there again. Have I been this way yet? Nope, there's the other crest I need. Yeah, I, this is my main character. I just did my first uh, heroic re to reincarnation into this build. I have only played this build previously on a scratch character on Argo, I think. I played it for a bit and liked it, so I decided to hear my main into it. I haven't been back up. I haven't been up to the epics with it yet, so. Um, it is based on Jotmon's Porcupine build in the forums. So if you want to search for that, that's basically where I got the build idea from. Well, not the build idea, the build specifics from. And uh, so far it's working really nice. I'm enjoying it. It's a lot more survivable than my previous build, which was uh, Dwarf 18 Fighter 2 Monk that I had played for years. And this is just a whole lot more survivable. And fun to play. It, it is a lot of fun to play, too. You've got your Warlock Burst Cleaves and 
You've got yourself healing. Nah, it caps, but basically what I do is I, when I get, I start off hitting Shining Through, and then if I get into my real hit points, then I'll Shining Through again. And then if whatever I'm facing still takes my hit points out, then I'll Community of Scribing and then Shining Through. So basically they're chewing up my temporary hit points, which I don't care about. I don't take, unless I get lazy and don't keep up on my temporary hit points, then they rarely get into them. I keep going this way. I pretty much cap at about, what, 750, I think, is what I've been seeing. Which is almost double what my normal hit points are, so that's nice, you know, double your normal hit points. Hard to complain too much about. Oh, did I really just do that? <sighs> Back this way. So, yeah. Now, hold on a second. Let me do this. Um, I've got a. Yeah, I've got it right here, in fact. So, there's the build, basically. You can compare that to my morning lock build, which is that. You'll see they're slightly different. Um, but really, most rocks are going to want to take Shining Through just because it makes you so survivable. You get a ton of temporaries that way. Um, and then as this, we're going to... Where were you, Titan? I went over all that earlier. I'm in aura mode at the moment, and I'm probably going to stay there pretty much. Uh, unless I need to do range, and I'll swap over to Eldritch Blast. So I'm always doing damage. The great thing about aura is that even if you're knocked down or stunned or turned to stone or whatever, as long as they're close, you're doing damage to them. So that's awesome. And shining through is right here. Hello. Oop, that's not it. It's over here. That's right. It was one of the yellow ones. So shining through is you get 12 times your constitution score in temporary hit points last up to 10 minutes, plus 20 seconds of healing amp. So that's a, that can be a lot of hit points. And I've got, you know, a 29 con. So 29 times 12 is like 30 times 12, which is 360. So I get like 360 hit points when I hit Shining Through. So, you know, that's basically doubling my hit points for all practical purposes. <laughs> so yeah, that's a little little breathing room, you know. <laughs> for uh, damage to come in. So yeah. And then what the aura is on, so every five seconds, I deal the same damage on Eldritch Blast, 130% spell power. So that's just basically gravy. And then I'm doing these two bursts. I've got the Eldritch Burst here, and I've got the Spirit Blast there which is almost another aura's worth of damage that I can stack on everything. Plus, then I can wield my Great Axe and do damage that way. <laughs> so I'm kind of set. I got plenty of spell points that I'm not really using for much. Um, see, I just walk up to stuff. Burst, blast. If it didn't die from the aura, the burst and blast, and I finish up with the axe and while it's recharging, I swing back a couple times, and then burst and blast again, and things are dead. That's how it's supposed to work. It's just amazingly fun to play like this. 
Because my fighter, I, I was always worried about, oh, I'm taking too much damage because I don't have any heal really good healing. My UMD's not high enough for heal scrolls, which suck anyway, and you know, it's just a big pain in the butt to keep that stuff going in here. It's just, eh, whatever. And then if you want to heal, community describing, boom, healed. 224 off of that. And I can cast that all day since I have plenty of spell points, and then I can shine through on top of that. So watch my hit points. I'm at 394 right now. Boom. 742. There you go. So, yeah. Yeah, Titan I could on Shaw too. It was that's because I didn't have Burst Ore and I was built for just great axes. This is built to play exactly this way. I don't know what you keep trying to say it's a problem, but it's not. That's what this build is built to do. Take out most stuff with the blast and burst and then clean up with the axe. It works great. A lot of fun to play. It plays a lot. I mean, it kind of plays like my cleaving fighter did in some ways. Ooh, he stunned me. But again, I'm doing damage from stuns. How about a massage, everybody? We don't really like this massage. Well, I, can, I could actually power it up right now. It's kind of weak, as funny as that sounds, because um, it scales with spell power. So, um, right now my spell power is probably crap. So I have 84 light spell power and 25 sonic. So if I actually put gear on for that, it would be doing a lot more damage. But really, I haven't needed it yet, so I haven't worried about it. I'm still using basically the Blade Forge starter gear with a couple of green steels thrown in, and those don't do spell power. So. Viola. It's done. We had those links up earlier. Let's see if I can find them. Uh, that and this. A lot of new fun stuff coming. Lots of fun new stuff. It's going to get worse. Because <laughs> the new ruin is the. Plus, you can do one or the other, probably. You also go through your spell points pretty quick at 150 a pop. It gets expensive really quick, especially if you met it. All right. 
sell some stuff real quick and we're going to do... What was the one we were going to do? I don't remember now. Something or other. All right. It was House J Dolores something or other, I thought. I'm on the wrong side. I need to be on the other side. That way. That's the way I want to go. Dead Shaw Rise, that's what it's called. I knew it was something like that. I have to talk to somebody for that one? Probably did, don't I? Oh, there's one of the first things that it wills on a big rig and then rolling, 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 rolling. Dead Shell Rise, House Jurasco, Sandra D. Jurasco in Dolores Graveyard. I didn't realize the uh, um, Night Revels thing challenges were still marked in the graveyard. That's funny. Huh. Is there a prereq to that? Do you actually have to do Delirious or something? Or just the one that you have to go up to the top of the thing for? Uh, that's Micah, that's something else. That's for me on the grave, that's not it. Dead shower eyes, let's see. Derek, Sandra, there she is. He, she, it. I'm gonna say that's probably female. But... It's this one around here. That's the one it is. There it is. All right, now I can go do it. Hello, good girl. Yay, a spire of Baldy or something like that. Oh yeah, I forgot to look at my green steel. So I got symbol of weakness, displacement, and con op. Okay. Oh, of course I have stone skin on my hack. Cookies or chunks or whatever you want to call them. Might as well go ahead and break stuff. See ya, city. Thanks, you too. I'm gonna go ahead and see if there's any more jerk faces down here to kill. Yeah, a little more light 
sonic spell power and some uh, lore. And I could be doing quite a bit more damage. So I'll get that at some point. Jeez, dog, you're snoring loud. Trying to be a lumberjack over there, sawing logs. There's something around here. I have no idea if I have. Nope, I don't. This plays pretty much exactly how I want to play right here. Plenty of healing in the game already. I don't know why you'd want more. I think overall I like the whole plan. I'm sure there's some details that maybe I could quibble about, but as far as I've seen in those couple posts, I like most of it. The stuff I can directly apply, I really liked. I can see some uses for some of the other stuff. Are they compelling reasons to stay at cap? Maybe. Yeah, I was wondering about that. I don't know if that would be enough. But it's something to help them at, some at least stay up there. Or stay alive two seconds longer. You really cannot spam the... Uh, Warlock burst last or whatever the cleaves because you uh, just sit there instead of swinging. Oh, there's an air 
jet there. Cube! I don't really use summon classes that much, but I've noticed that even like in our static group that they uh now that we're in epics, they're not doing very well. Before they were surviving for a while and making a difference here or there. Or in some cases actually saving us. But now that we're in epics, they're just not doing anything but dying quite a bit. Not a whole lot of help. Even for things like, you know, tripping some enemies just to help crowd control, they're not doing their job. I don't know what else would help that. I mean, you can get them up to pretty high stats, and you can put some gear on them, and... All that, but the lift is sonorous. Cheat. the loot from here. You have to like drop a certain way. I never remember where it is. Closed door is a good sign though. Um, I need to put my Yeah, I mean, the druid pet saved us, actually let us win in uh, ADQ. It's a party wipe except for the druid pet who uh, survived and actually killed the boss to keep us alive. That was pretty cool. Now, where's the other one? I'm not going to make it. Oh, I made it. I like hot stuff, usually. So that sounds good to me. Skunk. You know, I've been there, I've been there, I've been there, so maybe this one? No, I've been here too. Looks like it. I thought there was two up there. I've looted everything I wanted to loot. Oh. I can't see the hidden door, can I? Nope. Alright, let's just get out of here. 
How many did I get? Uh, it's over 10k. Hey, look, I got a pip. I didn't even notice. Yeah, my favorite barbecue sauces are ones that are a little sweet and a lot hot. That's what I really enjoy in a barbecue sauce. Like Famous Dave's Devil's Spit. Oh, it's so good. Hayward's, if you ever had Hayward's, that sauce is really good. The Night of the Living sauce that Oklahoma Joe's uses is pretty good. I go to like B dubs, I get uh, the hot barbecue usually. I've had the blazing and the blistering and all those, but uh, I really like the ones that are. I said a little sweet and a lot hot. Those are my favorites. Ooh, legendary victory. I will take that. All right. Uh... Yeah, I really dislike. <sighs> When I go for some food, I would really dislike it bland. I mean, I don't mind bland sometimes, but. Oh, yeah, who hot? Been there a couple times. It usually doesn't give me a migraine, unlike the BD's Mongolian barbecue, which does. It's weird. I don't know why. What di the difference is between the two, but yeah. Uh, cure me of curse and you know, cure me no cure me of disease did I get it in time I think so and actually make sure I have bound here because I know I wasn't bound here before when it was my infinite death loop I was in house C I was not on the ship which also made it more annoying Okay, so does anybody else put Frank's Red Hot on popcorn? I'm curious. So if you haven't tried it, try putting Frank's Red Hot on your popcorn. Just like sprinkle a bit over it and try it because it's really, it sounds weird, but it's really good. The other really good thing you can do is get it the tube wasabi that you can get, you know, wasabi in a tube and put it on Triscuits and just eat those. Oh, that's so good. So good. Yeah, a friend of mine out here, well, he's actually a couple states away, but he has tried eating raw ghost peppers and then the, what was it, scorpion pepper? And I don't know if he tried the new, new hottest, but he was on a kick there where he was trying the new hot pepper, just buying one, eating it raw. Whew. Ridiculously hot. And uh, I think that's going to do it for me today, tonight, whatever. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. It's been fun. Um, let's see, what else? Damsels tonight, maybe. I don't remember if they're on this week. I'm sure Quarter Run stream tomorrow is going to be happening with a bunch of questions about the new um, information about level 29 and 30 and all that stuff, all the new feats and how that's going to work. And uh, yeah, keep a watch here on DDO stream for other players and Skunk Queen. We playing tomorrow night, I think so, uh, from Kenneth. So yeah, and all that stuff. So thanks for watching, appreciate it. Don't forget to check, oops, check out YouTube's and Twitters and all that fun stuff. And uh, yeah, 
See you later. Thanks and good night.